about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking, we'll get away It's our last meal, sort of last meal in, in seminar for me And the two of them are going to head off to Ahmed Which I don't even know where that is But we're finally actually at a proper Indonesian warung <laughs> Which is a surprise right, being here for 5 days and not eating Indonesian warung Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Be free with me So we are at the tail end of our trip in Bali It's the final afternoon before we do the checkout So we just like to do a quick recap on what we have done in Bali and the best places to eat. I think for me, top three things to eat in Bali, first one would have been the mi udang at Merapute. The second one, the squid ink risotto at Hilo. And last surprising entry into the system is the piggy smalls burger at Potato Head Beach Club. If you are ever at Potato Head Beach Club, you have to try the piggy smalls burger. It's really a burger that I've never tasted anywhere else before. And of course, I like corn, so if you come to Bali, eat all the corn you can. Yeah, shout out to good corn. Changgu. The smoothies and the big breakfast at Crate. Drink the coffee there. Eat the fries from the lawn Changgu. They taste like wedges and they're great. And I think something to add is that the breakfast in Changgu, like you get a great platter for like half the price of what you get here in Seminyak. So, I mean, if you are going to Changgu to surf for a day trip in from Seminyak, highly recommend going there for breakfast and settling your lunch there as well. The food standard is about the same for the cafe food. Do hit up Changgu's cafes. Many, Eat many great cafes. the street corn at Changgu. A beginner surfer should definitely check out Batu Bulong. And then you can head over to Echo Beach to like surf watch and look at how the pros do it. And yeah, I just spend the whole afternoon just chilling and also watching. Get a guide, get an instructor, just follow whatever he does, man. They're all good over here. Uh, definitely check out the beach clubs in Bali. My favorite one is Tropicola because it has no minimum spend and there are lesser people. And there's a watermelon float. <laughs> a big watermelon float can fit four people as long as you're under 200 kg. So there's two of me. <laughs> Maybe one and a half after I have a few more burgers. Oh, yeah, the Bossman Burger was good as well. Bossman Burger is by Sister Fields, if you guys are familiar. So do check that out when you're in Bali as well. They are on Gojek, so it's if you're craving for a late night snack or a mid-afternoon snack in your villa. We did that and it was great. Eat the chicken. Yeah, get, get a villa if you're in Bali. If you're in a group of four or more. As a couple, it might not always be economical, but if you're travelling with friends, I think it's worth a little bit more getting the villa, your own private space as well as having the pool coming back from outside, it's so hot outside coming back in, stripping off and just jumping back in the pool is something that you cannot enjoy anywhere else if you don't get a villa so for the whole complete Bali experience definitely get the villa